everybody and welcome back to my channel. In today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to crochet up one of these maybe not so scary, slightly cute little skull appliques. Now you can make these in whatever size that you like just by going up or down a hook size. For these two here, whoops, my flower's not sewn on, um, I actually used two strands of yarn together. You can add a scary mouth here and you can maybe make it sort of, is it Dawn of the Dead with flowers along the top? What I'm going to do is make some of my flowers up and then I will, in the community tab on this channel, um, just show you what mine turns out like. That was just an idea I had before, before I started this tutorial. You can also add a little loop at the top so you can string these together to make bunting. Maybe add them to clothing hats or you could make them into perhaps key rings add them to Halloween bags, whatever it is that you want. Now, just a little disclaimer here. This isn't actually my original pattern. I did um, go onto YouTube. I have followed a few tutorials. Um, they seem to end up much the same. I just modified my final round here. I changed the stitch count. I just wanted to make it as easy as I possibly could for you to follow. So just a little disclaimer, I will, what I'll do is I'll tag the original tutorial that I watched, I will tag her channel down below. So I've just literally modified these ones to make them slightly easier. But there you go, little skulls. So let's get going. For today's example, I'm going to be just using a DK weight yarn. I'm going to be using my favourite Clover Amour 4mm hook. You're going to need a small pair of scissors and a darning needle for your ends. So we're just going to start by putting a slip knot on our hook. Now you can do this however you normally do. This is how I do mine. And we're going to start by chaining eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We are then going to form a loop. We're going to slip stitch into that chain, the first one that we did. So the farthest one from your hook, we're just going to simply slip stitch. So slip stitch, push through, pull it through and the loop that is on your hook and we have a loop. We're going to make another loop. These are going to be the two eyes. So we're going to chain eight again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Again, where we did our first slip stitch, we're going to slip stitch again. So in that's that um, first chain again, we're going to do another slip stitch. So bring it through and the one that is on your hook. So you will have something that looks like this. So your original tail end, if you want to just pull that, tighten it up. Try and keep your tail end at the back. This is what we should have. We're going to start by chaining three. One, two, three. We're going to be working in this first chain eight space here. So to start off with, we're going to be putting in three UK trebles. Now that is three US doubles. I'm here in the UK so I use UK terms. So a UK treble is yarn over first, push through, grab the yarn, pull through. So you've got three loops. 
grab the yarn, pull through two, grab the yarn, pull through two. So that is a UK treble, again a US double. So we're going to put in two more UK trebles. So all of these stitches will be in that first chain eight space. Okay, so that's three UK trebles. Then we're going to put in the same space two UK half trebles. So that's a US half double. So a recap, a UK half treble is yarn over, push through, grab the yarn, pull through. Again, we have three loops. We're going to grab that yarn, pull through all three. So that's a UK half treble. We're going to put another one in that same space. So that was two half trebles. In the same space, we're going to be putting in four UK doubles. So that's four US singles. So a recap, a UK double is push through, no yarn over, grab the yarn, pull through. So we have two loops, grab the yarn, pull through two. So that's one double, two, three and four, all in that same space. Okay, then we need to chain three, one, two, three. Then we're going to hop over and work in this other chain eight space. We're literally going to mirror this side. So we're going to start with four UK doubles. So just hop over into that space, putting in those UK doubles. So we need four. So that's two, three and four. What I tend to do with these is just shuffle them around on that chain. Then we need to put in two half trebles. So that's one, two. Then we need to put in the same space, three full trebles. So that's one, two, and three. I apologise if you can hear somebody has decided to hedge cut as I'm <laughs> filming my video. <laughs> so we've put in our three trebles. Then what we need to do is just join this round. So if you go to that um, original chain one, two, three up, we're just going to simply slip stitch at the top of that chain. Okay, so again, you're just going to push through, grab, oops, grab the yarn, pull through, and the one that is on your hook. So we have slip stitched to join. If I take my tail end out of the way, and you can see we have the beginnings of our skull. So for this next round, we're going to start by chaining three up. And then in the same stitch, we're going to be putting in one treble. In the next stitch along, we're going to put in two trebles in that same stitch. So that's one and two in that same stitch. In the next stitch around, we're going to put in two half trebles. So that's pulling through all three of those loops. In the next stitch round, we're going to be putting in two doubles. In 
in the next, next stitch round, sorry, I can't speak today, we're going to put in one double. Now in the next one, two, three, four and five stitches, which will take us round to this chain three space here, we are just literally going to slip stitch in each of those stitches. So that's just pulling through and the one that's on your hook. So that's one. Two. Three, four, and five. So as you can see, our skull is sort of upside down. What I want to do now is we're going to be adding this part here. So I'm going to slip stitch into this chain three space. I'm going to chain three and then in the same space I'm going to put in three trebles. So that's one, two, three. I'm going to chain three, one, two, three. I'm going to bring this down by just slip stitching in that same space. Okay, so that's another slip stitch. So again, coming around this side, I'm going to be mirroring our stitches here. So you may just want to cinch these um, stitches across we need to find that first um, stitch coming around. We need to put in one, two, three, four, and five slip stitches. So that first stitch is sometimes harder to find, but we're going to put in one, two, three, four, and five. So that's five slip stitches. In the next one, we're going to put one double. In the next stitch, we're going to put in two doubles. One, two, in this next stitch, we're going to put in two half trebles. One, two, and then in this last stitch here, we're going to put in, you've guessed it, two trebles. One and two. Then we're going to join as we did before by finding that one, two, three, that third chain up. We're just going to slip stitch to join. So there we have our skull. Now if we were going to um, add a loop like I did in this one, this is the time to do it. All you would do is do a chain six and then you would slip stitch at the bottom to join before you fasten off. Um, I don't actually want to put a loop on this one. So I have slip stitched to join. I'm just going to chain one up off my yarn and then I'm going to cinch that down the best I can and then what I'm going to do is weave in my ends on the back. 
So I went ahead, I weaved in my ends on the back. So what do you think? Now what you could do is pin these out um, on your ironing board and maybe give them a bit of a spray with some starch to help them keep their shape. But I think um, they will look lovely added to your Halloween decorations. So if you did enjoy this video, please do give me a thumbs up. Make sure you are subscribed to my channel and I will see you here next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>